Today, Kiro and I are winter truck camping with only an electric heated blanket. We're gonna see how my power bank can handle it. Right now, I'm trying to burn off some energy before we get back to our truck camping spot. For the dog, that is. I'm gonna be burning my energy cutting firewood. It's getting dark. We're gonna make some dinner, spend a night in the back roads in the Okanagan of British Columbia, Canada. I'm so excited. So there is a Jeep Gladiator off the side of the road here. Just came running down the hill saying that it's completely ice and compact snow and to turn around. There is some other vehicles up there, but apparently when you come down, there's just no traction. So I gotta back out of here in case that guy has no brakes on the way down. Gotta find a good spot to turn around. Always got a triple trek. You have your keys on you. Okay, I let Kiro out of the truck and he's run off somewhere. Kiro! <laughs> God, it's so beautiful out here. All the trees are covered in a light dusting of snow. It was raining at the bottom of the mountain. And if you just drive up a couple minutes, you hit the snow line and it's beautiful. I'm filming this on the OM5 camera by OM System. Show you guys some of the cool features, but I'm really loving this new camera setup. The sky is turning pink, so I think I'm going to head back to my campsite, see if we can get Kiro to be contained within our campsite. Kiro! Run! This is just heaven for him. I drove past quite a few cars having day fires, but everyone's pretty much clearing out. There's not a lot of people that sleep out here in the winter, which is why uh, it's one of my favorite times to do so. There's no one around. Don't have to worry about the bears. And no bugs. Oh my gosh, the sky, look at this. Ooh. Oh my God, oh my God. I need to go off leash with him. Almost just got mangled. Oh, someone's having a worse day than me. I think he's already gotten some help. Those doggies. No, <laughs> How are you? Yeah. All right, on. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the sky. So pretty. Oh, this is a good spot. Wait, we might need to move camp spots. Oh, geez, what? Okay, look at this. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, I love living here. You just can't get this in Toronto, where I used to live. I mean, you could, but there'd be a million people here. Oh, a piece of wood. Might have to take this. Precious campfire. Looks like it fell out of somebody's truck. Okay, well, all these people, lovely people, just came and parked right beside me. So, I'm gonna go see if I can find another spot. I have a new appreciation for these tires based off how slippery it was in just my hiking boot. I don't, this is, oh God. I'm trying not to go off the side of this cliff. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, e-brake. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh, okay. I think I might need to sell this tonneau cover to someone who is oh, who doesn't do a lot of off-roading because the clamps can just not hold it. I'm either gonna have to MacGyver something. I also am just planning on getting a rooftop tent perhaps, in which case I'd get the hard-sided cap. So I'm saving up for that right now. We'll see if that happens by the time spring rolls around. Honestly, a fire would be nice, but I'm hungry, so I think I might just cook it on the campfire stove. I'm gonna get cute a little spot set up. The ground is too cold for him. So let's see if he'll lay on this. Good boy. Here you go. Someone must have been cooking with this stick because he's obsessed with it. 
I'm sure everyone does this, but it's kind of like my diaper bag if I were to have a kid. Everything he needs is in one bag, including his own water bottle. There we go. He loves his sweaters. It's kind of surprising how cold he gets because he's double coated, but maybe it came with age. <laughs> he is gonna be nine years old this year, I think. Which is so wild because I got him right at eight weeks. I've had him since I was 18. Like what? So pretty. Okay, I am freezing. Without this fire, I should have just bought some firewood knowing how late I was going to be pulling up to this campsite. I'm going to have to pull up the big jacket from Mav, which is the warmest jacket I own. And I got it in a medium, so it's oversized. And so I can wear my puffy underneath it. It's so warm. I mean, I look like the abominable snowman with all these layers I have underneath, but I don't care. <laughs> Okay, cute. So we're gonna get our bed set up. So I've done my truck camping set up. You've seen it for longer road trips. I wanted to test out if I could have a quicker and less stuff to carry down from my apartment. That memory foam is really hard to store. So I'm gonna try and use my back, my backpacking inflatable sleeping pad. Let's, I have this power bank, 1200 watts, and we're gonna see how long my electric heated blanket can keep Kira and I warm tonight. It's about negative five degrees Celsius. Not bad for a Canadian winter, but it's a mild winter. Next week, I think it's dropping to negative 20, so maybe we'll get out here and test it. Test a different heating source because I do not have a diesel heater in this. This is the heated blanket. So let's get our bed set up. Oh, this is my hammock sleeping pad. Oh my god, wait. I want to go hammock tent camping next weekend. Comment down below if you think I should go hammock tent camping. I might have a new friend that would want to go with me in negative 20 degrees celsius you know it's hard to find those type of people if you follow me on instagram i wrote a little cheesy caption to sign off 2023 some key lessons that i learned from 2023 prioritize time by yourself it does develop your character it also just gives you time to think about the bigger picture prioritize time by yourself but i already knew that so my lesson takeaway from this year that's different is one of the greatest things in life is deep connections with people. And I really want to focus on growing better relationships with friends and family and partners. Just being a good friend. Prioritizing time with people. Okay, I kind of forgot that this backseat is exactly 5'4", the length of me. This pad is over six feet long, but that's all right. I used this sleeping pad to test out if I would like it, and I think I'm already like my memory foam better, but that's all right. That's gonna be our bed for the night. You can come out if you want, but we've got a warm bed. I've mentioned this in previous videos, but most of my videos are filmed with the OM system, OM5 camera. I'm filming this on my iPhone right now just so I can show you guys some really cool settings. I've partnered with them, so thank you so much OM system for sponsoring today's video. You'll also see them in some upcoming videos because I've been using their mirrorless camera to film majority of these videos you see here on my channel. The camera has a weather sealing rating of IP53, which means it's dust proof, rainproof, windproof if the rain's coming at you from different angles. It's also freeze proof which is really great for winter camping. There's a link in the description of this video and if you sign up for the newsletter at the bottom they provide a six week essentially course of lessons on how to capture nature and really get the most out of your OM5. They're also going to offer you an exclusive 
offer a discount on the OM5. Some of my favorite computational features that are unique to this camera is the handheld high res photos. It gives you 50 megapixels per photo, which is extremely high for it to not be on a tripod. I'm gonna include some of the photos I've taken in the forest and on my most recent trip to Utah. So you can see how amazing they turned out. And I've also been learning the starry sky autofocus. I'm really excited about how small and compact and light this camera is yet yeah, so powerful It's a really amazing camera. If you want to check it out linked below. Okay back to the video oh. Hi, little cutie. Everything is so much harder in the cold tonight. We are having Greek chicken onion pepper on a stick We've got pancake stuff in the morning if we're feeling ambitious, but I also might just want to go for a polar dip. That will have to be a surprise for a few minutes from now for you, a few hours from now for me. Greek seasoning because I'm lazy, so we're using a salad dressing. Pepper, onion. Oh, <laughs> the chicken's frozen still. I'm actually a really bad cook, but, oh. <gasps> Yes, I snapped it in half. Oh no, the lighter fluid is frozen. It's so cold, my lighter won't work. But I did bring my ferro rod. What I can get behind is this fire steel ferro rod. It's the best one I've ever used. Yeah. If you guys saw me cook a pancake on my cast iron and on my Kia iron, if you guys saw me cook a pancake on my cast iron in a fall camping video that I did. Oh my god, that pancake was brutal. I had never seasoned my cast iron in the couple of years that I owned it, believe it or not. So I just seasoned it and the non-stick is so much better. How you doing, buddy? Are you having a nap? Guys, it's not even Christmas. How cute is this? Are you kidding me? Party for one and a half. I forgot the tzatziki! I think my microphone stopped working. So we're going to have to use the camera, the OM system audio. It's stopped. It's not windy at all right now, so it should be okay. It's kind of like we're having a candlelit dinner with the twinkle lights. It's, it's just, it's a mood. This is not a protein shake. Nobody asked, but my favorite choice of beverage is red wine. <laughs> These gloves are gonna be so dirty. But it's too cold to not wear gloves. So honestly, shout out Baffin for these touchscreen gloves. I've had many touchscreen gloves before. Not a lot of them work. These ones do. The key is they have to fit you. You have to get the right size. I think these are their small. Dude, I hate cutting onion. I'm not trying to cry. Pepper, onion, zucchini. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be so good. Look at that. Okay, this is the before, the seasoning. Oh, my butter froze. Of course it did. We're gonna slow cook that as much as you can on a Coleman stove and clean as you go. I could have made a lot more, but. Mm. Boxed wine. Don't knock it till you try it. $30, it's like five bottles. <laughs> I mean, it tastes even better when you're outside and it's cold. So maybe I'm a little biased. I say this every video, but make sure you pack out, bring your garbage. Don't forget. Okay. I think it's looking pretty good. <laughs> I'm so excited. I mean, I need tzatziki, but it's still veggies and chicken on a stick. A boy dinner would just be meat on a stick, maybe some beef, but this is the feminine version. We have three different veggies. Let's try it out. Mm. I'm freaking out. That is so good. There's some cars coming down. I wonder if they can see my tripod. Okay, they drove away. 
I guess they were just looking for a spot. I mean, I don't know why they stopped and turned around in my spot, but... Giro is pretty territorial. It's a problem that we're working on. If he knows you, you're his bestie. If he doesn't know you, it takes him a minute to warm up to you. He's especially reactive around the truck or the car, whatever is his bed for the night. If it's the tent, then he doesn't like people that he doesn't know to come into that area if I'm there. The fun part is over. Now we have to clean up. These propane tanks always get frost on them in the cold. I should probably start using white gas, but... I have an emergency bivy. I don't think I'm gonna need it. I'm not keeping it in the truck. I'm confident. I do have my sleeping bag in there because it is just YouTube. We are just having fun. <laughs> if the electric blanket for some reason short circuits or doesn't work throughout the whole night and power bank dies, I know that I have the sleeping bag still. <laughs> Okay, bedtime. Baby Kiro, load him up into the car. Oh, he's so cozy. Okay, got my little inflatable pillow. Kiro is all comfy. I have to untangle this, I'll be right back. This is a 1200 watt power station and I am at 99%. So if nothing is plugged in and it just stays like this, it should last 68 hours. When I plug in the electric blanket, it's not a queen. I think this is about a twin. Okay, let's see how it changes. So on the first setting, it is pulling 95 watts and says it will drain in nine hours, which will get us through the night. But if I change it to the second setting out of 12, Right now we're at six, which is halfway, which honestly I have never used it past six. It gets really warm. So if that's the case, it's gonna last the whole night, but we will see. I've changed my car camping setup more than the average person in the last two years. And I've consecutively been camping throughout the Canadian winter. I've never had a heater in the car and there's never been a night where I've had to leave because I'm too cold. Plus I have a dog who gets really cold, but I'm rambling. Long story short, I think that the electric blanket is going to be my favorite. If you're only out for a night and you don't need to conserve your power bank. Obviously, if you're doing long-term camping, the only heater source that's going to work is a diesel heater. But it's fun to test out all of these different, all of these different types of heating devices, like an electric blanket, or I've seen people use the heat buddy which i do have but i've never used it inside the car we are at full strength and it's still only drawing about 83 watts so it doesn't matter how high you put it i'll try and link this heated blanket below i got it for christmas for my sister but it's saying it's 120 volts 60 hz and 100 watts it's only pulling 82 watts so it's over estimating how many watts it's gonna pull which is great. So if this is pulling about 100 watts, it's even on the lower side, 80 watts. I have a 1200 watt power station. That makes sense why it's lasting about 10 hours because it's pulling like 100 watts an hour. I'm not good at math or else I would have been an engineer and not making these YouTube videos. So I will stop talking about numbers, but long story short, this is heating up. I'm going to be warm for the rest of the night. Other things you can do to stay warm when you're camping, whether you're in a car or a tent, bring a change of socks. It doesn't matter if you sweat during the day, some type of perspiration may come from your boots. So if you change your socks, your feet are going to stay a lot more warmer and that is where the most cold comes from. Dedicate a pair of socks to sleeping, don't wear them to do anything else. Also wear a hat because just like your feet, those two are the farthest parts of the body away from your heart so they don't get heat like the rest of the body parts do i guess that's why your fingers get cold as well i'm also not a scientist so i'm not explaining it scientifically but i read that somewhere on a blog so it must be true i think that's all i have for you you guys have to see what kira looks like right now i want to start calling him dobby the elf other than that i'm going to bed 
Are you freaking kidding me with how cute he is? Good morning. Oh, that's bright. Oh, Kira wants to get out of here, so I gotta check on the battery bank and update you on the status. So we slept for about eight hours and we have 9% left of the battery in just under eight hours. So it lasted the whole night. Overall, this was a success. We stayed nice and warm and toasty. Let me know if you have any questions below. Otherwise, I think I'm gonna go meet up with a friend and we're gonna go polar plunge in Okanagan Lake. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.